So I can see myself on the screen. This is me filming. This is me in my camera. This is me on my monitor. And this is me showing in the camera. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your first time welcome by I and welcome. My name is Adeshola. Please be sure you subscribe to me by clicking on subscribe button down below. Also, hit the notification bell beside you so you can get notified every time I post a brand new video. And if I return a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means a lot to me. Like guys, it really means the world to me. Alright, so as you have probably seen by the thumbnail, in this video, I am going to be sharing with you how you can use your laptop as your monitor while recording live on your camera. And I'm sure you are really interested in that. So do keep on watching. So before we actually move into the setup, I am going to be sharing with you the accessories, like the major accessories you'll be needing to actually have this set up. The two major accessories you'll be needing is your camera and then your laptop, because without these two items right there, this setup is not going to work. Now, if you have a Windows laptop or a MacBook, it's basically the same settings. However, your kind of camera would determine how easy your setup is going to be if that sounds nice to your ears at all basically if you have a camera that uses a wireless option that has like a wireless tool or a wireless configuration it will make your job a lot more easier a lot more faster and you know a lot more seamless compared to when you have a camera or a, DS a dslr camera that doesn't have the wireless option now let's go straight ahead into the details of this i'm going to be showing you with my macbook right here but i'm currently filming this, this video while i'm recording this and i can see myself using my windows laptop but we are going to be using this for the sake of this video and you can apply this to your windows laptop as well it's basically the same setup all through so the first thing you want to do is to go to your browser you can use safari or google chrome whatever it is that you prefer okay i think i prefer using um my google chrome so you want to type in canon just type in canon usa on google and then it's going to bring you to this landing page right here now you want to click on the first one you can see or whatever pops up if you are in the uk it's going to bring canon uk even if you type in canon usc but whatever it, is, it brings out i think you should be able to walk around with it so we are just going to wait for this to load so after taking forever to load we have this right here and then you want to go to the top right corner you're going to see somewhere that says drivers and download you want to click on drivers and download and it's going to bring you down to another page here you can see start typing your product name so we are going to enter the kind of product the kind of camera you are using if you are using i'm currently using the eos m50 so i'm going to type in eos m50 this one right here and i'm going to click on it and section here so i can see the body specifications blah blah blah, blah which i'm not interested in you want to go to the drivers and download and here you can see drivers software firmware utilities if you click on the utilities it's going to tell you that there's no utilities for the os software version whatever I've always seen that. So you want to go to the software and here in the software, you will see US utility 3. That is the latest anyway. So what, whichever one you can see first, it's like the latest for your camera and for your laptop. So it's going to work for you. You just want to click on it and download. Then you just have to wait for it to download, download your camera. As you can see, they are using a Chrome browser. You notice that it's downloading on the bottom left corner of your screen right there so let's wait for this to download this is 3 mb which might be really slow so i'm probably going to take it now and come back so after 10 years and 99 days we have it downloaded on my laptop now we just won't open it right there and it's going to open up like this this is the downloaded file right there open up yeah so this is where the work is open extracting files right there so if you are in the usa canada latin america just click in any of these ones that fits in with your location i mean africa i'm going to go by this but nigeria is not here i'll just select 
UK next and wait for it. Start installing US utility installer. Close any other open application and click OK. OK. Now we have all these options here US utility 3, US utility 2, EOS, EOS, EOS lens registration, EOS network setting 2, EOS web service 2. Now I always install everything. So I think there's no option to select. You just have to install everything. They kind of work on the hand. So go by yes and put in my password. Okay. And it's just going to install right there. Now that everything has been updated and successfully installed, you want to go to next finish. That way, the EOS utility has been installed and updated on your laptop. So you have the EOS utility on your laptop. That is how you are going to install it. If you are using a MacBook or a Windows, it's just the same thing, basically the same setup. But the next thing we want to do is to connect our camera. This is where the camera preference sets in. If you are using a, a camera that does not have the wireless option, you would have to get this cable. This cable. It depends on where you buy your camera actually your camera is supposed to come with this kind of cable it's an hdmi from camera to laptop cable this mount goes into your camera can you see the mount right here this one goes into your camera well this one goes into your laptop yeah so basically what you need to do is to plug it into your camera and your laptop Now I'm going to be showing you how to set your camera up. You want to locate your Wi-Fi, wherever your Wi-Fi connector is. My own is right here. I'm going to click on it. But because I already have my windows connected to this, I'm just going to back in right here. I need to disconnect it, disconnect, okay. Now I want to add a new device entirely. I'm just going to click on this part right here. Can you see when I click on it? And then I want to add a new device. You will see to register a new device. Searching. Now you would go ahead. When you do this, it is waiting for your laptop to actually connect to this name right here. So you want to go ahead to your to your laptop, right? And then you want to connect it to your Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead to my laptop and connect it to Adeshala 218 and on OK. So I'm going to connect it to that one right here. So now it is connected and it has disconnected my phone's hotspot here, yeah, right? So now you want to start pairing device. Just click on OK. I don't know where my touch is on. OK. So um, start US utility on the computer. Now back to the computer, you just want to search for EOS utility. Yeah, right there. Yeah, EOS utility. I'm not going to click on two. EOS utility. And it says EOS camera detected on network to connect. Please click here. Can you see that you want to click on connect? Check the camera LCD monitor and complete network settings. Connect to PC. Okay. Now, it has been successfully connected and the US utility is going to launch on the camera. Now, you want to click on remote shooting. That way you are able to see yourself while you record live. Okay, so I'm going to click on live shoot here and boom. All right, now we are back and I hope you guys can see me like I can see myself on my monitor right here. And you see so if you want to start recording all you need to do is to click on this button right here and then it's going to start recording like hey guys yeah so this is what it looks like can you see like i can see myself on the screen so i can see myself on the screen this is me filming this is me in my camera this is me on my monitor and this is me showing in the camera yeah so this is basically how you can set up 
your Canon EOS utility on your system but, and that way you're able to use your laptop as your monitor while filming and it makes it really easy you can do anything from here so far your camera is being set to manual you can where's that stuff yeah you can have this right here you can change um your aperture say i want to change my aperture to like 1.8 can you see my background is a lot more blurry but the light is too much but this is just to show you that you can control your settings from here you don't always have to stand up it was on 2.2 now i can change my iso to 200 i can change my shutter speed if i want it to go to 50 if i want it to go to 100 yeah but we'll just return it back to 80 that it was yeah basically this is just how to set your camera and your laptop together so you can just see hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time of stopping my eye and welcome yeah so i guess this is really really clear and really detailed enough for you guys to understand what i'm trying to say so if you want to see yourself on your monitor like this while you record then i think this is a good thing for you to do if you are not already doing so it's going to help you a lot more i think my camera settings has changed mm, because i look really weird but anyway this is basically how you need to set it up i hope you enjoyed this video if you made it this far please be sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video amongst your friends that would be needing it thank you very much and i'm going to see you in my next one